Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Feels good to be back. I have been gone for a while, just dealing with life, but I'm back here now. And I wanted to do a reading on the whole Hawaii fire conspiracy. There's been a lot of things going around. It's actually a little concerning. And I just want to take a second to just send love and light to all these poor people who have been affected by this tragedy. It's absolutely horrible. It's scary. I cannot even imagine. Um, I live through a fire in my house, but it's nothing like what Hawaii has went through. And my heart goes out to all the people. It really, truly does. And I'm so sorry, you know, that things are the way they are. But there is a lot of things, you know, coming out about this. And it's very eerie. Um, I already kind of have made an opinion. Of course, I have to be very careful what I say. You know, people call me crazy anyway. So that doesn't really bother me being called crazy. And I've also been labeled a conspiracy theorist, which, hey, you know what? It is what it is. I... Don't let that stop me from having my opinion or anything. I just continue to, you know, believe what I believe. And that's just how it is. But it's really, really horrible. And I send all those people love and light. And I really hope that, you know, you guys can find the strength and, you know, the resources and things you need to get back on your feet. And I feel for you. And I'm very, very sorry that this has had to happen. But anyway... Again, a lot of stuff has been going around. Um, you know, they talked about how, you know, a hurricane started this and all this other crap, which I, I don't know if I believe it. I really don't. I don't feel good about it. Even like when this first came out, like something in my gut just told me, you know, it just doesn't seem right, you know, and then I think of all these agendas, you know, that the government and whatnot is trying to push. Not even just, like, my government here in the United States, but even, like, the WEF people and this whole climate change and all this stuff. And there's even been stuff said about how they tried to buy the land and, you know, the natives didn't want to sell it. So they have just went and obliterated it. And there's just all this stuff. And let me just put one thing out here. This video is all alleged for entertainment purposes only. I do not want to get killed or sued. Um, you know, I, I'm just going to say it's strictly my opinion. But um, in alleged... But it's very, very eerie. Like I said, it's a very eerie thing. And I just want to pull a couple cards on it and just see what comes up. Like I said, I already kind of feel intuitively that this is purposely done. So I guess we'll just see if the cards can back up what I say. I have been trying to practice to get better. I will be honest with you, even to this very second, I still don't have all these cards memorized, even after all this time. I've got a good portion of them memorized, but... Um, not completely, okay? Not completely. But I have gotten to the point where I don't even let that bother me anymore. I have done multiple readings for people, and I have gotten great feedback on the ones who have responded. I have had a lot of people who have gave me feedback and said, yep, you're on point. And I even got a couple tips, which was very, very nice, and I really appreciate the people who did that. That was a very thoughtful of you. You know, granted, I didn't ask for that. So the fact that you were willing to do that, I really appreciate you. I love you. And, uh... One other thing that I've really noticed, too, here on my whole, you know, intuitive, you know, awakening, whatever the heck you want to call it, I find myself more drawn to even Oracle than I do Tarot. Um, Oracle seems to be a lot easier for me to channel, which is very interesting. I still love Tarot. I think Tarot is fantastic, and obviously I still and will read Tarot cards, but I found myself a lot more in tune with Oracle. So that's just something I've learned kind of on my journey. I'm so sorry to keep rambling. I just, I haven't been on here for a while. I'm just trying to, you know, catch up on stuff. But anyways, let's pull a couple cards and just see what comes up. Again, in my opinion, all leisure for entertainment purposes only. I do think that there's an agenda behind this. I really, truly do. Um, you can even get on Google and read some of the information for yourself. So it's not like I'm just making it up. At least I don't think I am. But I don't feel good about it. I really, truly don't. So I'm just going to pull a couple of these. And then I'm going to pull a couple of these. And then I might even do this. So we'll see. Um, let's get right into it. I'll shuffle up a little bit. And if you have any requests, just send me a comment. Because I want to try to start getting back into this. And uh, I need some ideas. I have a couple that I'm thinking about doing. So just let me know. Um... 
Okay. Get these out here. So I did have three spears fall out and then the moon in reverse fall out. Okay. So this is the most obnoxious part, which is getting all these laid out. And sometimes I wonder too if I even want to do reversal readings yet, just because it's already been kind of difficult to memorize the whole card deck, even after all the time I've been practicing. Like I said, I've got a lot of it down, but I'm also trying to just read intuitively and not even kind of have the cards, you know what I mean? But, you know, we're learning. We're learning, and I appreciate all the tips and all the feedback that you guys have given me. It definitely helps. And, you know, it's so funny. After all this time filming, I think I filmed, like, 50 videos. I still get nervous as heck being on camera. It's so freaking funny. All right, so let me see. Somebody's celebrating. Somebody is celebrating this. Three of Cups is a celebration. Obviously, not the people who've lost everything, but the other people involved are celebrating right now. This is a win for them. This is a win for them. This is really sick. Very, very sick. But, yeah. Yeah. There's people who are actually happy about this, and I might have a couple ideas of who those people are, but I'm not going to say. If you have common sense, you already know, right? Ten of Spears. So, yeah. Somebody celebrating. So, the Ten of Spears. This card, this card of burdens, is what I think when I see this card carrying a bunch of burdens on their back. You know, this person is carrying all these swords on their back. And, I mean, it does kind of fall into place with, you know, what's going on. I mean, people lost their livelihoods. They lost their homes. They've lost family members. Um, it's... It's rough. Oh, it really makes me sick to my stomach. But again, that Three of Cups just really... It's kind of disturbing to me. At least what I feel. Because, again, it goes back to the whole... This happened for a reason. There's a reason they did this. And, you know, back to my introduction, you know, talking about how, you know, all these conspiracy theories and stuff are going around. But even some of the stuff i seen, like, I've heard that they might have possibly did it because they want to do, like, 15-minute cities and they want to drive all these people out. And if, unfortunately, causing all this chaos and blowing stuff up is going to be what does it, they're going to do it. They're not going to back down no matter what. That makes sense. Whew. It's heavy. All right. Knight of Cups. So, with this card, what I remember it to be is maybe some sort of proposal. Some sh sort of, like, maybe charming proposal. Or a promise. Some sort of promise. Holding up your end of the deal. Holding up your bargain. Or whatever. You know, just... Ugh, I don't know. I don't know. I have like a really sick feeling in my stomach and I don't like it. I don't know what to say. I don't know what not to say. That sounded like a complete fucking lunatic. Excuse me, freaking lunatic. Um, but like I said, that's okay. I've been called crazy multiple times. I don't mind that. I really truly don't. But... I just don't feel good about this. I really don't. And I just can't help but think of all these people. Ugh. 
Sometimes I just carry too much emotion, you know? Alright, let's see. Four coins in reverse. See, I'm not the best with my reversals by heart, so I'm really not. So I will have to cheat with that and check the book. Don't come for me. <laughs> I know upright, the four of pentacles could be keeping things close to your chest, holding things in. Your security, you know, improvement, money, materialism as well. Okay, so the reverse is insecurity. Not being able to find regular employment. A reorganization at work moves you away from promotion. Where you're finding it tough to hold on to money right now. And that could be, you know, referring to, you know, all the people who have lost their homes and their jobs and their family members. And, you know, I just have to say, I really hate to get political. I really, I try to do the best I can to, like, separate the two. But sometimes it's, like, hard for me and I can't pretend, you know, like, everything's okay when it's not. Because it isn't. But... The one-time $700 payment to these poor people who lost all their belongings, lost their house, their family members, for Christ's sakes. Here's a one-time payment of $700. What the hell is that even going to get you in this economy? Like, seriously, what is that going to get you? It's insane. It's absolutely insane. And it's just a slap in the face to these poor people, you know? And then I get mad because I think of all these rich people and all the money that they have. And they just don't freaking need it. You know, nobody needs, you know, $200 billion in their bank account. Nobody on this planet needs that much money. No one. But yeah, let's just, you know, send them a $700 check. It's unbelievable to me. Eat the rich. Five of swords. Five of swords. Conflict loss, pain. Yeah. And I can imagine that's what a lot of these people are feeling right now. It's absolutely horrible. It's absolutely horrible. All right. I'll do a couple more of these and then I'm just going to pull a couple from my Oracle deck. Knight of Swords. Drama, stress, conflict, change. Obviously, that's what's happening right now. A lot of stress for these people. They've lost their whole livelihoods. They've lost everything. So, yeah, that makes total sense. All right, I'm going to do one more here. Give me a second. Five of Spears. So, these people are fighting here. So, competition, tests, fighting. It's just not a good situation overall. I guess I can go on and on, but... Again, I have to be careful what I say, okay? And honestly, with this one, I don't even feel I need the cards for this because I just feel intuitively, you know, and I know there's other people who feel the same way that I do. So I try not to let it get to me. Then we have that moon card that fell out, which in reverse could be like buried emotions, you know, kind of like the moon upright, you know, like illusion, things hidden, Buried emotions, you know. Alright. Let me do a couple of these and just see what comes out. Alright, anything on... The fires...
hold on a second. <laughs> Okay, so right now, we have walking away, we have hostilities. Man holding a coin, rest and rejuvenation. Right, let me do one more here. Okay. Okay, so, happy family, okay. I can't, again, help but feel, because it keeps coming up in my mind, this whole tragedy that has happened, it is bringing abundance for somebody. Okay, who it is, I don't know. Because obviously it's not the people who have had their lives destroyed. Okay, it's going to be somebody higher up. And, you know, they're living lavish. You know what I mean? They have money. They have funds. They can do what they want. There's no accountability. And, you know, again, kind of with that other tarot card that I pulled. You know, that three of cups. Like, somebody is celebrating this loss. Is it the government? I don't know. Right? I don't know. Or do I? <laughs> Anyways. But yeah. Somebody is celebrating this. Okay? This was a win for them. And the man holding the coin. So again, you know, with this one, I feel, you know, like it's money. You know, again, there's a reason this happened. Somebody is getting paid. They are going to be able to achieve the dreams that they wanted to achieve or that they you know their plan if that makes sense it's really really disgusting okay it's just at least i think it is the rest and rejuvenation um with this one you know obviously these people you know who have been struck by this horrible tragedy even though it's probably hard to rest and rejuvenate, right? Usually with this card, you know, you see the person in meditation, you know, just kind of just chilling out, which, you know, may be hard to do, but, you know, hopefully, I really hope there's light at the end of the tunnel for these people, you know, and they can rest because I am sure they are stressed, you know, no rhyme intended, but in all seriousness, I just, I cannot imagine. I try to put myself in these people's shoes, and I just cannot imagine. Like I said, I actually had my um, apartment burned down. But, you know, it's actually kind of a funny story. I mean, it is, but it isn't, right? My neighbors lost everything. The people down in the restaurant where the fire started lost everything. I didn't, though. I had, like, no damage in my apartment. I don't know if it was God. I don't know what it was. Okay, but that's just me. But the point is, is... It was so freaking traumatic, you know? And like I said, I just, I cannot help but just feel for these people. I know I keep saying it, but I just, I am so much of a freaking empath that I cannot stand it sometimes because it's like I am there, you know, and I can see everything and just feel the pain in my chest and in my heart because it just hurts so bad. And with this one walking away, these people literally have to walk away from their whole fucking life that they built, everything they built. They have to walk away from. It's all gone. Everything that they've worked so hard to build and to have has literally been burned away. And there's nothing they can do but walk away from it and try to rebuild. And hopefully, after they do that, they can get that rest, rejuvenation, because it's tough. It's really tough, and again, I just, my heart goes out to you guys. It really, truly does, and I'm so sorry. I wish, you know, I was someone like Elon Musk or all these other rich people who have all this money, because you can do more, you know? $700 is a slap in the freaking face, and it pisses me off, and I'm not going to sit here and act like it doesn't, because it does, and it's disgusting. It is absolutely disgusting to me. And we have the hostilities, you know? problems you know what I mean there's a lot of issues around this I mean people lost everything it's a very dark time 
very depressing, very tragic, hostile, you know, and, uh, I feel for you guys. I really, truly do. I wish there was something I could do. I'm not sure what that could be. Unfortunately, I don't have, you know, a shit ton of money I could just send out. I wish that I did because if I did, I promise you I would help. You know, it makes me feel bad sometimes because I want to do so much more, you know, for the collective and to help people and... I don't have all the means that I wish I did, or probably a lot of us wish we did, you know, and the times we're living in is just, it's a nightmare. It really is, you know, and I pray for all of us. I really do. Every single one of us, I pray for, you know, that we can each get through our own battles, you know, and some of us are going through way worse battles, like the people in Hawaii losing their whole livelihood, okay? So, I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try it, Okay. But I just want to ask my angel answer deck here. Was this coal fire done on purpose? Was this coal fire done on purpose? I just want to see if anything comes up. I don't know if it will, but we're going to try it. Okay. We're going to try and just see. Okay, so let me just shuffle this up for a second. So this one flipped up, okay? And that's opportunity. So let me... Not too many. all I need to know. Okay, so we got the opportunity. We got abundance. And we got yes. Okay, so this is an opportunity. Okay, this whole thing that happened is an opportunity. Again, I don't know all of the, you know, information behind this. But I can tell you what has happened with that, I feel intuitively, and even, you know, guard came up, so take what you will with that. This was an opportunity. These fires was an opportunity for someone. And then we see this abundance card. Okay, again, I feel, allegedly for entertainment purposes only, that this was purposely done. And it was an opportunity for someone to get what they want and to get the abundance that they want, you know, whether it be money, you know, whatever the plan was. Okay, like I said, I have a couple ideas, but we're not going to get into that right now because it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter. And then we got the yes card. I feel that there was something more dark behind this. I want to be wrong. I'd love to be wrong, actually. I, I really, truly would. But I just cannot help but feel in my soul that it's not. And I'm going to tell you one thing. You know, you can think I'm nuts. I really don't care at this point. Um, there's going to be a lot more tragedy to come on this earth. I'm telling you right now, I see disasters. I see a lot of very disturbing things. And again, I hope maybe I really am just a whack job. I hope and pray that's the case. Because I can sleep a little bit more peaceful at night. But I just, I see a lot of destruction. I see a lot of chaos. I would not be surprised if there's going to be more fires. There's going to be more things wiped out. More things destroyed. More weather-related activities. So, um, I pray for us all. And I hope you like this reading. I did the best I could. It's my first time back. So, I'm a little nervous. But I'm trying. Um, for you few who watch me, I love you and I appreciate you. And if you have any other requests or anything else that you would like me to read on, just comment below. I would love to do that as I get back into filming. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys and I'll see you guys soon. And one more thing, again, I know I've said it a thousand times. I'm sending my love to the people of Hawaii. I'm so sorry this has happened to you. If you see this, please don't get upset with me. I'm just... Letting y'all know what I feel intuitively and 
you know, maybe some of you guys agree. You know, I hope some of you do. If you don't, that's perfectly fine. But I pray for you. I send you love. And I really hope that there is some light at the end of this dark tunnel for you. And I love you. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.